I've got my sheet of plywood here. It's a half sheet that I just ripped the edge off to straighten it. And I need to cut it to a shorter length. I need a piece off the end here for the top of my router table. And I've got two choices here. Well, I've got three actually. I could try to cut it on the table saw using some kind of a cross cut sled. Um, my panel cutter could do it if I had the space on the other side over there. However, I don't, <laughs> and I'm not going to move the saw over here to do that. I could also cut it with a handheld saw, like a circular saw or hand saw or jigsaw, whatever a way that, you know, whatever tool that you happen to have for that, I could do it like that, or I could do it on the miter saw. My miter saw is a sliding compound miter saw, and it has a cut capacity of 12 inches. So I can do this in two passes. So what I've done is I've taken my sheet and set it up here and line up my mark pretty well. Now what I'm not looking for here is I'm not looking for a perfect cut. So let's get that straight to begin with. This is just a more, this is a better rough cut than you would get with a hand saw just using a free hand or you know, a jigsaw or a skill saw, whatever. And what I'll do is I'll make this cut and then I'll recut it on the table saw after. Okay, so I've got my you know belly up against this, pushing it up tight against the saw. I've got my hand in here. I'm gonna take the saw all the way out and start my cut. flip it over like so and continue the cut from the other side now I know that some people have seen you know you lift this sheet up and it'll cut it even deeper that's okay you can do that if you have practice but it's not something that I'd recommend now when I cut this this part is going to try to fall and that's the biggest problem with this kind of thing so Better to get a clamp and try to clamp these two together so that this part won't fall when you finish the cut all the way through. Tighten that on there like that and around again and line up my saw. Like I said, I'm not looking for a perfect cut here. I'm just looking for a manageable size piece. Saw stop. And then I can take the clamp off and move that over there. Here's my piece ready to recut.